Okay, in this uh, lesson, I want to give you an example for training system to reassemble this drill here. Uh, we want to first take apart this drill in this place and then we can click and drag, assemble them and make an interesting training. With this idea, you can do a lot of things. Uh, I want to explain the change grab in this lesson. Change node grabable is very important. <clears throat> so, first we have to capture a scene state or position of there in X, in original position. First, this range. Uh, at the end, we want to uh, close this screw with this wrench and uh, play an animation. We want to uh, do a lot of uh, interesting things. Uh, first, we capture the scene states of the position. Okay, we capture just the position of that wrench selection. Capture from selection. Okay, for better see that, it's better you select it and delete and close your camera to that position to better seeing that because it's rendered from this area and select it again and capture position from selection. As you can see the thumbnail, you can better see the thumbnail, okay? And uh, capture, for example, I want to reassemble one, two, three part, or you can do another part of there, but I want to three. Capture the position of this. As you can see, you can see it better. Caps, capture the position of this, and then capture the position of this object. For um, creating the thumbnail, you can change the camera. It's exactly record the capture of position and the capture of the screen exactly the position of your camera because of that if you zoom out for example in this area you can capture exactly at this distance and you can see it in a thumbnail okay with this uh, trip trick you can uh, see your thumbnail better Okay, it means if you change the position of this uh, object and place it, for example, here, you can simply with click and drag, uh, make the, bring the original position of that object. Okay. Another thing that I want, I need to make an animation of this uh, object in its position. It's very important because we want to close it exactly in this position. So it's I to isolate any any everything and zoom to selection to uh, make an uh, round table or wheel animation <clears throat> for doing that uh, you can go to the animation and here you can use them or go into the animation menu i go into the here and make a, as i said before wheel animation okay in this frame is nice and pick a center it's not a tricky to pick a center here, but I pick a center exactly this area. And if I hit OK and play, this is our animation. OK, that's nice because I want to see the rotation of that. Well, this is our animation and we have to store it to the sequence that we can use it in a programming. Make it sequence and uh, screw animation and we don't need to reverse or if you want to delete from the keyboard timeline that's nice select it it's i to bring uh, other object and that's nice okay and now uh, i want to make an animation of this wrench when it's going to the displays and closing you have to make animation a score and a store animation in its position in it's a target place that you want to that animation happen so we bring this uh, range in this position hit n to uh, snap it there you can bring it there and rotate it bring it here and everything is nice i want to make an animation exactly in this position simulate the rotation okay use this selection to the zoom to better 
And I want to make an animation of that keyframe here. Going to the half of the frame. Go in this position and oh, it's automatically keyframe because of the auto keyframing. Going here and rotate a little more. And as you can see, we have in this animation. Select all frame and store them as sequence and wrench. I uh, can delete that and everything is done. When you go into the sequence, as you can see, we have a screw animation and the animation of the wrench closing. It's nice. And if because of we store its position in a scene set, you can click and drag it snap to its position. Everything is done. And now we have to place them in a, this place to uh, make them grabbable and uh, person can grab them and uh, snap them to this position and learning how to assemble the object click in and snap it here click in and snap it here because we store the synest position synest state of them you can rotate them and as you can see it's not important because we store the animation of them and it's very easy beginning to programming it going to the training builder what do you want to do i want to uh, grab this object going to the its displays and snap to its position it means play this scene state first we need to make the first object it's very important make the first object grabbable as you can see and you don't have to make this and this, this, this object grabbable. We use the change grabbable object in the program. Don't grabbable everything. Just first object. It's very important because everything is, uh, we have faced a lot of issues. First, I want to grab this object. So insert the object, click it to assign it. Grab this object. And when we want to reach this object, when we want to enter that object, a scene state will be played. This is scene state. So we need in node, inter node. If this object reached to the that object area, okay, execute a scene state. Play a scene state. Which scene state? The scene state of the position of that. We store the position of this object exactly in this position, so it's automatically a snap there. Test it. The first state. Okay. And for grabbing the first object, we have to uh, click an edge. This hand will become a scroll down to grab it. As you can see, you can grab it and if it reach that position, as you can see, it snaps. Nice. And as you can see, we can grab it. We can always grab it. But we want to stop grabbing this object and then transfer the grabbing to the, another object and then we can place it above that object. Okay. So we have to tell the software, okay, it's done. Stop the grabbable. Here, we can click and drag this note here. Okay, it tells you what you want. If that object enter that object and everything is done, execute. Execute this note. This note, what does it say? It says, please stop the grabbable of which object? Grabbable of this object that we place it there, select it and done. It's a stop the grabbing, you cannot grab it, okay? And I want to transfer the grabbable to the this object after that. Select define that object, another node, and we have to click and we have to assign this and make it instead of false true. The false means stop the grabbable of this object and after that transfer the grabbable of this object. So don't forget to uh, connect this object, this node to that. It means 
also if if inter node inter if this object um, place in its position of this object inter node uh, do three things first uh, play a sin state and after that uh, stop the grabbable you cannot grab that object again and transfer the grabbable ability to the another object so you have to connect these three don't forget that and now you can up grab it okay that grabbable object transfer look at the scene uh, look at the uh, VR viewer to see what we do okay the first object is grabbable we can grab it here it's going to the position snap and as you can see we cannot grab it again and the grabbable ability uh, transfer to this object and we have to uh, place scene state it means if this object this node enter that node area a scene state will be play and the grabbable object stop and transfer to the last object this this is the way so we have to do it again you can simply uh, click and drag and copy all of these uh, nodes ctrl c ctrl v and duplicate them oh. what have i done oh 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 the control unfortunately the control z does not act here okay unfortunately if you click and drag all of them and control c you cannot do that okay uh, and now we have to uh if we enter this node is entered at that node because this object is uh, already placed there so we have to doing again programming again here node inter node if this object you can select it approach the area of that object do play a scene state which scene state you can uh, click and drag scene state here you can click and drag a scene state you can define it there or you can input the object okay scene state will be play and we have to stop grabbing of that object when node inter node which object means we have to stop grabbable of this object false and then we have to change transfer the grabbable ability to another object it means to this last object and make it true it means grab it and of course don't forget to connect the in node inter node because the software have to understand i enable that object uh after what what after this object insert uh, this object insert of that area okay and after that the this object all grabbable and we have to make it node inter node if this object enter the area of that object because this this object already placed there select it play a sequence which sequence the sequence of the placing in its position this object and we have to transfer we have to transfer to grab uh, to grab ability to the this range because after that it's uh, goes its position we want to close it with that range so we can do it again stop grabable after node inter node which object stop grabbing of this object false and start grabbable of that range so you can select it from here all of it you have to select a parent it has as you can see has a lot of child select range and make it true okay make it true and don't forget to connect it 
Okay, and this object are grabbable. And the important part is B. Let's see the viewer and our work. We have to, after that, play an animation. It's the final uh, step. Can grab it, position it, it is, as you can see. It is stop grabbing. Another object will be begin to grab. It is snap to its position. Another object will be grab. In a snap to its position. Interesting. And if I want to grab it, as you can see, if I grab it and place it here, uh, closing animation and the animation of this screw this object will be uh, execute so what we want I want if this wrench if this wrench selected node A enter a area of that screw I want to execute what an animation animation sequence which animation sequence is uh, automatically open the two animation sequence first the play of the a screw the rotation of the screw and the rotation of the screw and the two play sequence two play sequence and the place the animation of the uh, this object rotation of this object and rotation of the screw and it's done and after that what do you want mm. after that I want if 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 this object wrench is if this object reach the area of uh, I have I select to have after that. I will explain it. See what what's the process till here? Test our process. Is everything correct? The edge you can grab it. Oh, as you can see, a problem will happen here. What is the problem? Okay, as you can see, this is the last object here. You can grab it if it's reached to the area with this object. As you can see, animation uh, will be happen, and you can grab it away. And you can place it anywhere, and you can do it. For example, if reach this area, it snap to the that area. Okay, this is the example of how to use a, uh, it's very simple training. And you got the idea and you can do it yourself. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.